the start of the fourth day with this car and the good thing about having the windows in is I can push the car outside and give it a good wash. At least I can reach the top of the roof on this one. <laughs> So the car's had time uh, outside to dry and I have it in the shed now and I'm just going to use that white primer again uh, to just to improve the appearance of this. It's going to need flatting back at another time because I can see that the, whoever did this work before has left it actually quite rough um, so it'll need uh, tidying up even though I intend to actually put the plastic arches over this eventually. So it's pretty much the same story on this side, there was already some grey primer on it, so I just extended that on over the red on the arch, just to even things up. So I'll start now with the, the white primer. There's a bit to do here at the front as well. I need to get primer on uh, this black area as well and it'll even it up with the, the red bits as well before I put the white primer over. I've pushed Eric outside to dry in the sun and I have uh, Gina's bonnet and boot here and uh, the paint on, on that car was uh, really fading so they're actually ideal for, to, uh, to sand down and uh, spray for this temporary job and um, Eric has given his boot to Gina because uh, it's actually the, uh, the colour that she was originally and uh, so this boot will stay on this car um, but the bonnet is, is just on loan I wanted one that didn't have any louvers uh, so I'm going to spray this one and later I have another bonnet that already has um, been cut for bonnet pins and that can go on to Eric then and the, this will be this will form a base coat then for a full respray that's going to happen to Gina at a later stage anyway so a lot of shuffling around this is the sort of stuff that keeps me awake at night but I think we have it lined up the best way so better get cracking on it now so this is actually what this stuff is for I'm doing both sides. It's interesting to note that one can did one coat or one and a half sides of this bonnet. Starting the second coat of primer now and going on to the third can. I started a third coat and I'm still on can number four. I'm actually just finishing off can number four now on the inside because I'm pretty happy with the coverage I got on the top side. So I'm just going to finish it off this side doesn't matter as much. Okay, I want to sand these down with a bit of wet and dry to get a smooth finish, especially on this one because it had uh, a couple of different layers of uh, paint exposed before I put the primer on. So um, I think the best thing to do is to actually fit it to the car and uh, that will support it properly uh, so I can sand it down before I put on the uh, top coat, you know.